How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Silas, and today I'm going to be reacting to Lil Uzi Vert, The End, featuring Baby Metal. Now, I don't usually listen to Lil Uzi Vert. I've heard songs of his before. Not my style. Um, I did like his addition on the recent uh, Bring Me the Horizon song, A A Amen. Very cool song. Um, and I love Baby Metal. So, and people were, you know, after I reacted to the one with, or to Amen, people were like, you should react to this, because uh, it's got baby metal on it. So I was like, sure. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into it in three, two, one. Whoa. Oh, interesting. Okay, <laughs> not what I was expecting at all. Love the electronic aspects to this. Very cool. That heavy guitar tone. <laughs> oh, I love that melody. So unexpected, but I love it. <laughs> Ah, oh, the instrumental is so interesting. Oh, interesting. I like the pads used in this beat. Back to baby metal. <laughs> Love that. Whatever that keyboard pattern was. It's very brief, but... That's so interesting. Yeah! Love this! Love that guitar tone. That bend. Oh, that sounds so good. I just love the heaviness and upbeatness all mixed into one. Something baby metal has always been good at, so doesn't surprise me. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, that was cool. That was The End by Lil Uzi Vert featuring Baby Metal. I I can honestly say I'm surprised. And that is a very good surprise. I really enjoyed that. So interesting. What an interesting instrumental and just the vocals on that. Um, There's so much creativity in this song. And... It's so nice to hear that because I've heard like old Lil Uzi Vert songs before and this doesn't go for all of hip hop music or rap, but I'm not a huge fan of his older stuff because it didn't seem as creative. It seemed to follow a formula. This does not follow a formula. It seems like he's branching out from at least the songs I've heard in the past before. Um, and I really enjoy that. I love when artists branch out, um, try different things. Um, the addition of baby metal on this was awesome. Just, and I'll say this. I love 
a lot of times when artists are jumping on features, you know, it's it's a different producer. So they might sound different because, you know, it's the whoever the main artist is, it's their producer. So I've noticed that in Kingslayer, which is the song of Bring Me the Horizon with featuring Baby Metal, uh, Sue's vocals were very overproduced, in my opinion. It still sounded good, but I like her more raw sound from Baby Metal. And uh, that seemed to be present here. It sounded very natural instead of overproduced and i really like that um just love the happy the happiness of the baby metal part it is so cool and that keyboard part very briefly and then the guitar parts i wasn't expecting at first the uh the production weirded me out i wasn't used to it yet but then i got used to it um but yeah i love the glitchiness of the electronic aspect added in with the heaviness of the metal guitars um, definitely wasn't expecting a heavier track like this, um, from Lil Uzi Vert at least. Uh, really enjoyed the guitar parts. The guitar tone was, it was dirty. Uh, it was very good and very cool. Um, that bending riff at that one part was very cool. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that. And honestly, I would love to see more features or collabs like this because they're very cool. Uh, it just gives you a little peek into different artists and stuff and what they can do with different artists that might not even be part of the same communities or same genres or, you know, it mixes things up in a, in a bit. And I like that. Um, but yeah, really cool song. Really enjoyed it. I'll probably be adding it <laughs> to uh, my phone. So yeah, if you guys want to see me react to anything else, just leave it in the comments below and I will add it to the list and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.